Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're taking a look at this Civivi knife. This one is the mini sandbar. Um, specifically, you can see it's this model because a lot of these uh, different Civivi knives, let me get that focus. A lot of the Civivi knives come in a variety of different flavors, so to speak. So you get, you know, a pattern that comes out and then you have a bunch of different, you know, um, handle colors and materials and different uh, blade finishes and whatnot. But this one has the Jade uh, G10. Super cool. Very interesting uh, blade shape on here. This one has a three inch blade. It's in Nitro V. I've talked about that in the past. It is a considered a clip point, although I would say it's more of a recurved tanto, uh, but it is hollow ground. If you can't see that light kind of rolling off the edge there. So yeah, I mean, on this particular one, it, I would see it kind of like a tanto because we have two separate blades. We have a blade to there and then we have a blade here. All right, the top portion curves outward, whereas the end one inside or, or straight edge is not really straight because it curves like this. All right, so that tends to be very hard to sharpen for a lot of people, and uh, I'm no different. I'm not an exception. This was definitely harder to sharpen. Um, I only had to sharpen it once. I was really kind of touching it up. If this got actually dull, I would probably change the profile, to be honest. I would, I would just not worry about this secondary point right there and I would glaze right over it and I would sharpen this like any other knife and I'm sure I would grind it down and start with a, a um, you know, coarse edge and eventually work finer. So I would be reprofiling this uh, if and when I have it long enough to where it gets actually dull. This is where it comes, uh, you know, really in handy to strop your knives, right? So you don't actually have to sharpen them that often. But uh, anyway, full length, or excuse me, the folded length or closed length is um, four inches, all right? And overall, it's seven inches, all right? This thing is pretty light. It's uh, 2.45 ounces, all right? I would want to say this is to medium, possibly small size. It just depends. For a lot of people, you know, if you have average size hands, it's probably more of a medium size knife. Um, but it's definitely, you know, thinner and shorter than uh, a lot of other folders I would consider, you know, full size or large. Um, this is a liner lock. The lockup is fantastic on this. There is a little flipper there. All right, you can see that there is no wiggle at all in any direction. All right, the uh, Jade G10, um, you can kind of see through there. All right, if you see those little squares or blocks, that is basically where it's skeletonized. All right, if I zoom in, you can see that quite clear. So that top liner is heavily skeletonized to cut down on the weight. All right, as I'm close here, you can see the uh, pocket clip on here. Actually carried very nicely. This one was one of the uh, couple models I've had for a while. This is not a new model by any means. I've had this for, for literally months uh, on off uh, in testing it and stuff, just finally getting around to do a video on it. Um, but yeah, carried totally fine. The uh, handle scales are missing or exposing this uh, little uh, spacer that's in the back here, as you can see. All right, so that creates your lanyard hole or lanyard slot if you wanna throw a lanyard on there. Um, it's a free flowing or open design on the back, all right? So it does not collect lint very easily, although most EDCs do collect a little bit of this and that. You do have to kind of blow them out. You don't have to have compressed air or anything. I mean, if you do, if you have like a little compressor, or pancake compressor or something like that, that's fantastic. Just uh, get in there and blow all the air out. But if you don't, you're just uh, an average person with not many tools, just use your mouth. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. Just do that once a week and it won't accumulate all that crap and crud and stuff. Um, you know, your knives, your, your guns, any EDC type gear that has nooks and crannies, if you carry it day in and day out, it will in fact get dirty, all right? And eventually it could uh, create problems with the, uh, uh, the piece of gear actually not functioning properly. So anyway, it's a pretty straightforward knife. Um, I do like the, uh, the feel of it overall, all right? You can see there's no real heavy shapes or, or curves. So from here to here, it is a slight curvature, kind of like the blade. All right, there is a secondary uh, high point on here. It might be hard to tell, but it's so minute that if your finger lands on it, like I literally can't even feel it. Sometimes when you have little curves and dips and handles and stuff and your, your finger lands on a point, it becomes uncomfortable. In this case, it's just so minute of a curvature that it doesn't really matter. Uh, in my hand, you can see I get a nice four finger grip, all right, if I choke up right to the bottom of that blade. Uh, but just loosely grabbing it, I get a three and a half finger grip. A lot of times with knives or guns, if I get kind of a half finger on there, I'll choke down so that it's, I literally don't have any finger at all, or I'll really just bunch up so that they're all on there. I don't like the half finger feel. But uh, if you do have medium to smaller hands, I think it'd be totally fine. If you have large to extra large size hands, it might feel a little bit small uh, for you. But 
you know, the, the uh, upside to that obviously is the uh, the weight. You know, coming in at less than two and a half uh, ounces is pretty lightweight for uh, an EDC. Um, yeah, really, really cool. These sell for just under 80 bucks. I want to say like 75 to 80. Uh, again, just depends on which version. Um, I think it's worth the uh, the price tag if you are looking for something with this uh, design. Let me pop this out here. I just want to show you the uh, case. It's pretty standard, but in case you haven't seen the Civivi knives, you do get a nice little carry case on here. All right, zipper that open. Usually get some decals. You can see there's the Elementum. All right, so mini rant. I do love the Elementum, but if you've never had one, why would you want the decal? Um, I, I think it's cool they're throwing in some stickers. I mean, obviously the, uh, the logo is cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're gonna make decals of the knife, you, you know, it should probably be the knife that's in the package, right? If you bought a mini sandbar, you'd want a decal of a mini sandbar. It just so happens I've had multiple Elementums, so the stickers are always cool to me, but just thinking about the average, you know, um, customer, you may not have ever even had this knife before, you know? So if you bought like a Spyderco PM2 and you get a sticker of the Endura and you've never had an Endura, it just doesn't really make much sense. So I'm not complaining about free stuff, but you get, you get what I'm saying, right? And of course you get the little cloth, which is really nice and your paperwork in there. Overall, it's a, it is a nice uh, package. I do like the extras, all these, uh, you know, Chinese companies, they throw in tons of extra stuff and it really feels like you're getting a lot for your money. It is becoming pretty common. And I think what it is, is that when you're buying stuff from an American company, for the most part, and this is not always the case, but a lot of times you're buying like a higher end American knife, you're spending $150, $200, $300 or more. And you know, you get a cardboard box and just a knife. I mean, yeah, that's what you're buying. You're buying a knife. You're not buying packaging and stickers and, and cloths and stuff like that. But it's always nice to get the extra stuff. You know, I kind of wish the extra stuff was thrown in on a lot more American brands. So there you go. Those are my opinions on the Civivi Mini Sandbar. It is a cool little knife. I think it is worth the price tag if this is a design that appeals to you. But it's kind of vanilla for me. It's just run of the mill. I mean, it's nice to see a different design, but nothing really stands out as being extra special or awesome or anything. It's just a good functional knife for under a hundred bucks. But uh, like I said, if you don't like this particular, you know, color scale, they do have other versions of it. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. If you have a mini sandbar, let me know down in the comment section what you think of yours. But that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.